Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. Uh, I'm going to tell you some interesting information and also we're going to learn exponential functions with rational exponents um, and after that you will be able to do 8.7. Uh, so today students will be able to solve exponential function word problems with rational exponents. I wanted to share with you a little bit about what they do in science. Um, you might ask yourself, how can they know how old bones are when they find bones? Or how do they know when rocks have so, like, have been on earth for this much time? And so what they use in science is something that is called, among other things, carbon-14. And on earth, there is about 0.032% of Earth is carbon-14. Um, also, in any living creature, that includes humans, animals, plants as well. Okay, there is 18% of carbon, okay? Um, knowing that, we can say that dogs have, let me see, this much grams of carbon. That's a very tiny amount. Um, okay, so that's what dogs have in grams of car carbon-14. So that we don't have to deal with these many zeros. But in scientific notation, that would be, we put that decimal point right there, and so it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's 7.4 times 10 to the negative 12 grams. Let's go to do some exercises. So let's say you have a dog called Bucky. It died. Aww. It had 7.4 times 10 to the negative 12 grams of carbon-14. Then it says that carbon-14 has a half-life of about 6,000 years. So basically what this means is that the amount of carbon-14 that there is after six six thousand years you will have half of that okay and so this would be exponential decay for the first one what we're going to do is find the function and remember that for the function we have f of x and of course you can use other other variables but um if we're going to use f of x is equals to the initial point, which is the 7.4, and we're just gonna put the notation of the, the 10 to the negative 12th all the way to the end, just, but this is part of this, okay? So 7.4 is your initial point. We're talking about half-life, so the base is going to be one half. For the cycle, in here, is gonna be x over 6,000. So my cycle is going to be however many years go by divided by the 6,000 because it happens every 6,000 years. Okay, so now it says for the second question, how much after 200 years? So how much carbon 14 will there be after 200 years? F of 200 is equals to 7.4 times one half to the, now in here we're gonna put 200 over 6,000, which is the cycle. Again, we're just gonna put the times 10 to the, oh, and I'm sorry, I put times and times twice. You only need it once. Times 10 to the negative, we're going to bring in the calculator 
since this is a scientific calculator you can just input 7.4 times one half to the 200 over 6,000. Now, for some people, they believe that it's easier to simplify this part first. For other people, they prefer to put it in parentheses. So we'll, I'll guide you through both ways and we'll see which one you decide to do, okay? So it's gonna be 7.4 times one half, and we know that one half is equal to five times 0.5 to the and in here this is where you want to put parentheses to make sure that you include the 200 divided by 6,000 okay 200 divided by 6,000 so we open a parentheses we put the 200 divided by 6,000 and close the parentheses and we put equals. So that's gonna be, we're gonna round it to 7.23. And don't forget that that is multiplied by 10 to the negative 12th. Again, because we don't wanna include so many zeros. After 200, after 200 years, that's how much carbon you have. And remember that this is just going back the 12 spaces. Left after 3,000 years. So we would say F of 3,000 is equals to the initial point, which is gonna be the same. The base, which is gonna be the same because we're talking about half-life. And the cycle is the one that is changing in this case, okay? Because it's the 3,000 over the cycle, which is 6,000. Now I'm gonna show you um, the other way, which is simplifying first. And so basically, we put the initial point times, people who don't like to have it like this is, they see um, half-life as 0.5, okay? And 3,000, so basically the only difference is that you're working with this first. 3,000 divided by 6,000 equals 0. 0.5. And yes, I had shared with you that, that every time that the numerator is half of the denominator, then it's one half, right, which is 0. 0.5. So basically in here, you could have also divided 200 divided by 6,000 and know that it was, I usually recommend that you use as many as possible. You would have raised 0 0.5 to the 0 0.033333. The more you use, the best, the better, okay? In here, we also simplify this. In here, we also simplify this, right? Okay, so again, it's just in case you don't wanna do the parentheses and instead you simplify this first to make it into a decimal. Remember, we were working in the previous lessons with that. And also the base to make it into a decimal first before we plug in anything in the, in the calculator. So again, how do we find it in the calculator? We press the, the, the initial point, multiply by the base, which is 0.5, and then raise it to the, see, instead of putting parentheses, putting 3,000 divided by 6,000, closing parentheses, we already have it in rational decimal, in a decimal number, and we just raise it to the 0.5, okay? And it's gonna give me 5 5.23. And then again, remember that this is added at the end, so times 10 to the negative 12. Now, let me do it without simplifying it into a, into a decimal, then it should be very close. Okay, so let me use this one, 7.4 times, we can even do this um, one half, I'm just gonna put it as 0.5 to the, and then 
this is the different part, okay, where you open parentheses, put 3,000 divided by 6,000, close parentheses, and then press equal. So if you notice, you end up with the same answer, 5.23, 5.23. Okay, the next question, and I think I'm gonna go a little faster. What happens after six? thousand years well you already know that it, you get half every six thousand years so guess what you're gonna have half of that right but we can just plug it in six thousand over six thousand and that's equals to seven point four to the remember one half is the same as 0 0.5 six thousand over six thousand is equals to one I plug it in and so 7.4 times 0.5 to the power of 1 equals 3.7. 3.7 times 10 to the negative 12th. So basically, all you're changing is this part right here. After you find your function, this is the initial point. It says half-life, so you put 1 over 2, and then x over the cycle, okay? x over the cycle. And so, f of 8,000 years is equal to the initial point times the half-life, and in here you will have 8,000 over 6,000. So we're gonna have the initial point times one half is the same as 0 0.5 to the 8,000 divided by 6,000 is equals to 1.33333. I would do five digits after the decimal point. And so now we can figure it out. 7.4 times 0.5 to the power of 1.33333333. And so it's gonna be, we're gonna round it to the thousand, I mean hundredths. So the thousands tell me that I add one more in here. It's 2.94 times 10 to the negative 12th. Is how much after 25,000 years? Again, same thing, same process. How you're changing, you have the same initial point, half life, but then for the cycle, you put 25,000 over 6,000, which is, you have the initial point is the same, half life is the same as 0.5 of the life, and we divide 25,000 by 6,000 equals 4.1666666 forever. And I know there is a seven in there, but it's because the calculator rounds the last digit. Right. Let's plug it in, 7.4 times 0.5 to the 4.1 6666. Okay, and equals 0 0.41 times 10 to the negative 12. And so these are some examples of, in reality, how much carbon 14 there is in Bucky. So we would be able to know how long Bucky has been around on Earth by checking out how much carbon-14 there is. Okay, now we're gonna go into another example. And it says, you have a population of rabbits. You start with two rabbits and they triple every month. Whoops, this was not supposed to be there. <laughs> And it says, find the function. <laughs> well, I'll just show it to you. It's the, R stands for the rabbits. The cycle is every month. 
and so the initial point is what you start with the two rabbits that you start with you multiply by three because every month they multiply by three it doesn't say every two months or that's why it's only um it should be m actually it can be t for time or m for months okay either one is correct um you shouldn't mix it your function again if you put f of x that's also fine you just put x in here and that's it this is your initial point this is the base what happens does it triple does it is it one half is it double okay so that's your base okay so how much rabbits how many rabbits will you have after half a month okay so basically r of one half is equals to the initial point they triple every month but we're just talking about one half of a month and so what happens um that's exactly the same as two times three to the one half is 0.5 and that's gonna be equal to let's see two times three to the 0.5 3.4 rabbits now can i have can i have decimals for rabbits no we cannot have a fraction or a decimal for people or bacteria or rabbits so we're gonna say this is gonna round down to three rabbits okay after half a month i already have three rabbits what happens after two and a half months? So it's going to be R of two. I'm just going to put half as 0.5. My initial point, which is two rabbits, they triple every month, but it's going to happen for two and a half months. So what happens? Two times three to the 2.5 equals. 31 rabbits now remember we cannot have um decimals so i'm just going to put 31 because it rounds down to 31 rabbits after two and a half months and how many rabbits will i have after 10 months i start with two they triple every month but it's going to happen for 10 months so, 2 times 3 to the 10 equals, look at this, look at how many rabbits you will end up with and a year has not gone by, okay? You're going to have 118,000 rabbits. 98 okay so 118,098 rabbits i should say um so imagine only 10 months rabbits they they reproduce very fast okay um with these examples you can now work on assignment 8.7